Today we have Miss Kathy Schonk. She is the transfer coach from Arkansas State University at Jonesboro. And she is going to answer some questions for us. If any of our students from UACCB is interested in transferring from us to A State Jonesboro. So, my first question for you, Ms. Kathy, is what application and documents are required to transfer from UACCB to A State? If a student from UACCB has graduated with their associate's degree, we are going to need a copy of the transcript. If the student has taken any additional classes at another college anywhere, even if in Arkansas or outside the state, we would need the transcript, uh, the transcript from those colleges as well. If a student wants to attend classes on campus, we'll need the immunization records as well. But if you are planning on taking classes in our new old dual delivery hybrid program or online, you're not going to need your immunization records. Is there a separate application for transfer or institutional scholarships? No, if you are transferring from UACCB, again, if you have over a set amount of hours, I believe it's um, 16 credit hours, 13 to 16 credit hours, which is about two semesters of school. So if you go beyond that, or if you graduate with your associate's degree and your grade point average is above 3.25, then you would qualify for a transfer scholarship. And the transfer scholarship is $2,000 a semester, and it will last throughout the entire time you are uh, pursuing your bachelor's degree. So uh, for four or five semesters, generally it's four, but some things like nursing may take five semesters. There's no paperwork you have to do for this. As long as your FAFSA is up to date and you add on the FAFSA that you want to transfer from UACCB, to Arkansas State University, then it's, um, it's clean. You do it, you don't have to do anything at all. It'll follow you. I heard that you mentioned a dual delivery hybrid plan. How do students qualify for that and what is that? So what, the, what was going on with Arkansas State is we have a sister uh, university. It's at the Arkansas Online. So it's Arkansas State University online and the problems we were having with it is if a student enrolled in the online courses that two thousand dollars a semester scholarship was no longer available so we're starting this dual delivery hybrid program and with that what we're hoping well what we know uh, once we have a lot of student students enrolled is this is just going to grow and grow and grow we started with eight different um, associate degrees that not associate on uh, bachelor's degrees that you could start with and we have added two more and we're planning on adding more and every semester it seems we're adding about two different two additional uh, bachelor's degrees and when you are enrolled in this dual delivery hybrid program it's very similar to being online uh, you don't have to go on campus at all except uh, three of the classes will be truly online classes like you're used to. Two of them are going to be where you would go to class at say, you know, 4.30 to six o'clock, two days a week, and you would have to be in front of your computer and in class at that time. And uh, once you are in the class, then you can talk to the instructor and interface with your students and the other students and. It's a really neat program and uh, we are very excited about it. It began last fall, so it isn't even a year old yet. Okay, so this isn't a scholarship, it's more of a contract between the schools. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, for So they can finish their entire bachelor's degree with this dual delivery hybrid program. Absolutely, so they would go through all four semesters at this time and we have a, an abundance of programs, like I said, and every, semester we enroll a couple more programs. It's right now up to the different departments on how they are going to present the programs. And pre-COVID, they were very reluctant, but now that all of the different departments have found that it's not really that difficult to do all their classes online, a lot of them are a lot more uh, willing to participate. Okay, so that gives stu our students, our transfer UACCB students, a lot of options to maybe not be a traditional on-campus student. Absolutely. What other institutional scholarships could UACCB transfer students qualify for? 
When a student transfers from UACCB, along with the $2,000 a semester scholarship, they would also be eligible for any other scholarships that have followed that 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 has followed them from you from wherever they were to UACCB. So if they are a high school student and they qualified for the lottery scholarship, then that lottery scholarship will also follow them to a state. And the lottery scholarship is actually set up so the first two years you receive less money than you would for the third and the fourth years. And they do this specifically because they know it's more expensive to earn a bachelor's degree than it is to earn an associate's degree. So for our transfer students who would like to live on campus, if you are a UACCB student and you are planning to go to a state and you would like to live on campus, we have all sorts of uh, housing available for you. We have the traditional dorm housing. We also have uh, university housing, which is kind of like living in, a, uh, in an apartment where you would live with one other person or possibly three other people. The other thing we have is something I really appreciate. If you happen to be married, and even if you have children, you would be able to go to campus and live in family housing. And this is a little bit different. It's a, the houses are, or the apartments are a little bit bigger because they understand that you're going to have more than just you there and you need a little bit more room. And that way you'd be able to take care of your family at the same time you were taking care of your education. Are there any specific clubs or organizations that are transfer oriented at A-State? At this point, we do not have anything that is specific for transfer students. With more than 200 clubs on campus, though, you can find something you truly like. I would recommend, if you know, for instance, that you are going to pursue a business degree, we have a lot, not just one, but several business clubs. So we have one for accounting and one for business, and it just depends on where your interests lie. We have clubs specific to different sports including Quidditch. <laughs> we have clubs specific to, uh, different, um, to different nationalities. We have clubs specific to different um, whatever kind of religion you, you have. It, and if you can't find the club you want, you can make your own club. Just find some of the people who have that same interest and you would be able to uh, go with them. A lot of students on our campus participate in work study programs. Are those positions or similar positions available to transfer students at A-State? They certainly are, uh, especially with, if you're going in and you already have an associate's degree, you're at least two years ahead of a lot of your fellow students at A-State. This means that you might be eligible to tutor them, just like we have the peer-to-peer -peer tutors here, you have the tutoring opportunity there. When you are pursuing your bachelor's degree, generally in the second year, in order to earn money, you'd be able to take on an internship, and this would count toward part of your um, tuition, obviously, you'd be able to pay for part of that, but it may also be uh, a count as part of your learning experience while you're at A-State. We also have a lot of different opportunities along campus, and, and it changes, obviously, from semester to semester, to semester depending on what your interests are and where our needs are at a state but we have for instance a libraries need aid and and the services need aid so there are definitely areas where you'd be able to make a little bit of money to put toward your education who should uaccb students contact to start the transfer process oh they would definitely contact me i love that question you can uh, email me. My email address is cshonk at astate.edu. That is c-s-h-o-n-k at astate.edu. Come to Astate. And I'll see you on campus.